Hey guys, um, today's video is gonna, uh, be a little different because there's some personal stuff before the, uh, Orion part. Uh, everything's timestamped in case you, uh, don't want to listen to this part. And don't worry, feel free to go ahead and skip to the Orion part if that's what you want. Um, so yesterday, uh, my brother got a call from a doctor and uh apparently my dad is in the ICU with like multi organ failure and um they uh said he's probably not going to make it to the end of the week we're uh, trying to get a plane and um make arrangements to go say goodbye i normally don't like talking about personal stuff but um i'm not going to be able to stream this week and i just wanted to let you guys know why i'm sorry well, on a much less depressing note, Icebreaker and Orion is a really good combo. God, this transition. Holy crap. All right, so we're going to be using the eye with this, and we will also be using Jockey Pants. This will help us find the people and be able to hit them with the Icebreaker so they start taking extra damage and then go ahead and one-shot them with that Orion because a one-shot headshot with the Orion and the Icebreaker, as long as you do an Icebreaker, then Orion will kill them every time. It is a really good combo, and it's really fun to use. So, another benefit of using this, as opposed to one of the other combos, which is a Quicksilver, is you're actually going to be able to light these people up, and it'll help your teammates know where they are. That way, your teammates aren't getting snuck up on, and they know where to go help you at, and also, they're going to end up doing more damage to that guy because of the damage buff that Icebreaker gives. I'll go more over these techniques in a video that I'll make after this, which is going to be Quicksilver and Icebreaker and the different methods you can use with both those guns, and just basically an instant shot sniper with Orion kind of uh, tutorial guide. And the biggest thing you want to do is you want to be able to light these people up when you're using Icebreaker. Because your teammates just are going to be terrible and they're never going to know where anyone is. And there is two strategies basically going on at the same time. You want to stay near cover while you're lighting them up. This lets your teammates know where they are, and luckily, since they're lit up, you know where they're going, and just make sure you're paying attention. If they get into your Orion range, you just immediately take out your Orion, hit him in the head, and kill him instantly. If they get a little too close, just remember, don't scope your Orion, it'll kill him faster if they're really close to you. And the other thing you can do is lighten these guys up, getting them low, and making them hide. Because just as effective on control points as getting kills is making their team scared to die. And if you can get them to not go for control points because they're either being lit up so they're getting chased by your teammates. Or they are being pinned down to where they can't move because if they move out they're going to get killed by you and your icebreaker. And the threat of them being lit up knowing that if they move up into you they die to your Orion if they stay where they're at, they're going to die because your teammates know where they are because you lit them up. And it really only leaves them with the options of trying to run away while they have cover or waiting you out and hoping that you forget they're there. So the biggest thing that I like to do is on these kinds of uh, control points, I like to sit between the B hill and then either A or C and then just play my life being very careful not to expose myself too much, but always keeping constant pressure up by not only getting people low, but also having them be lit up, keeping pressure from not just us, but our team on that person, and also their own psychology is going to be fighting against them because they know they got lit up too. In the video that's going to come after this one, which is about instant shot snipers and the Orion, I will not only show you guys how the Quicksilver is very good at doing tons of damage in the medium to long range, and when it starts to do less damage, that is when you have the max range of Orion come into play, because once the Quicksilver starts to do less, the Orion does a ton more and these two guns played off each other so well because 
once you start doing less damage because they're too close to you with your Quicksilver, you were immediately within the Orion range and you could hit for insane headshot damage. And then you could kill the person and immediately go back to Quicksilver and wall strafe while doing your damage. The reason that you're going to want to wall strafe is actually quite ingenious and very simple. But before I can explain why it's ingenious, I need to explain what it is. So in order to keep these instant shot snipers and spinny wheel snipers like the Barracuda in an equal playing field, they had to add an artificial delay into the instant shot snipers. And this actually does a great job to keep the damage per second of both a Barracuda and a Quicksilver to be very similar over time. But where it really benefits the Quicksilver is you can wall strafe while you're doing this in that way, every time the artificial cooldown makes it where you can't shoot, you are on the side of your strafe that goes behind the wall. And then, when it's time for you to shoot again, your strafe is already having you out to where you can see people again. And when you get good at this wall strafing, you'll be able to time out your strafe to where you're shooting as soon as your gun is ready to shoot. So even though you're behind the wall 50% of the time, you are able to time your gun's shooting ability to the exact strafing pattern you're using to make sure that your gun is always pointing at someone when it's able to shoot and it's always behind a wall when it's unable to shoot. And I know that it doesn't seem like much because it's only half a second behind the wall, half a second where you can shoot, but... Over time, it is an insane amount because you're functionally keeping 100% of your damage per second while eliminating 50% of your damage taken per second ability. So you are keeping the exact same amount of damage while cutting the amount of damage you could take per second in half. That is why it is so important with these instant shot snipers to do wall strafes so you can make those barracudas cry. Speaking of barracudas you're going to make cry, how about I show you how to use a barracuda in Orion? This is the loadout we were using and crazy enough, we were down by like 750 points and we had a comeback like you would not believe. It was absolutely insane. And this is that game that I showed on my YouTube short where we have the greatest comeback of all time. After having my knife end up trying to just screw me over really bad i tried to throw a grenade getting a double kill and then we would have got my hill everything could have turned around but instead it knifed nothing for no reason and just ruined everything luckily for us there we saw that guy reloading he had the green circle above his head so we jumped down and we tried to kill him and this is where things got truly crazy if this grenade goes off, I get a double kill, we get the hill, and we are no longer losing by tons. But instead, the game makes me knife when I never hit the knife button. And yes, we are now losing by 500, and I know what you're thinking. Well, hey, at least you're not losing by 750, right? And I like your positive attitude, you know? Hey, at least we aren't losing by 750. We might have some hope. Like, there's a reason to think we can actually... Wait, wait. What? Wait. Oh, no, we are losing by 750. Oh, man. I guess we'll just have to make the most miraculous comeback in the history of the world. You know, it happens. So, 3v3 coming back when you're down by this much in this short amount of time is really hard, especially since no one ever left the game. So the people who got up by that much are still in the game. And thankfully for me, they did camp with snipers a little bit, which gave us a little bit of a chance to come back and really get ourselves out of this problem. And also, this is the greatest combo ever, Orion Sniper. It doesn't have to be the Barracuda. 
And like I said, I will be making an instant shot sniper tutorial with Orion. And I'll make a CUDA tutorial with Orion as well. And I already have all the recordings for all of those videos I need. It's just um, life has kind of gotten in the way. Um, me and my brother have gotten flights and we will be leaving soon uh, to go ahead and uh, say goodbye to my dad. Uh, he's not going to make it, and it is unfortunate, and I'm sorry to have to put things like this in a, a video meant to have fun and show cool stuff, but, uh, I, I won't really be able to stream, but I will do my best to make the videos, um, I won't be in town, so I don't know how the quality will be, and I just wanted to go ahead and say this now, if I just disappear for like a week or so and don't make videos, don't worry, I'm fine. It's just, I mean, uh, life's complicated right now. Uh, again, sorry for, um, sorry for, um, any inconvenience, guys. Thank you all, uh, who have supported me and, um, who have, uh, helped me. I really appreciate it. Sorry this video ended up being a few hours late, um... But hopefully the next few uh, will be a little bit more on time. I think I want to try to do one video premiere every other day this week. And the order of these tutorials for the Icebreaker, Quicksilver, and Barracuda, all with Orion, will be done by my channel members. Um, one of the perks is once a month, I'll let you guys choose the order of a few of my videos. And these are going to be the three. So uh, I'll have that pull out, and in my next video, I'll let you know the order they'll be coming out in. All right, guys, thank you so much for supporting me. I really do appreciate it, and I hope you all have a great day.